In this video, we're going to be painting the stock on the Stoger M3000. We're going to be using Rust-Oleum paint and primer, and we're just going to sponge it onto the stock. This is my first time doing this, so we'll see how it goes. We're just going to start by taking off the four stock here. We'll do the butt stock next. So we'll go ahead and take the butt stock off now. I'm pretty sure this is a Phillips in here. Seems like it's coming out. There we go. Now we gotta get that screw out way down in there. Just gonna unscrew this quickly. So we're just gonna wipe these off with baby wipes real good. Try to clean up the plastic because it's got a little dirt on it and some blood here. Now that these are nice and clean, we're gonna just tape off this little circle here. I ripped up this sponge so it doesn't have the same like rectangular pattern everywhere if I were to just use the sponge right away. So I ripped it up and I'd have smaller pieces that all look a little bit different. So it should create a pretty cool looking pattern. Okay, so I'm just gonna start with this tan here. We're stepping outside so that we don't get paint in the house. And we're just gonna spray it on the plate. All right, we got our first color here and I think we're just gonna start dabbing it on. Just put the sponge in there. So we'll get something like this for the first color. Okay, on to the next color. I think we're going to go with the green next. Okay, a tip for in the future. Don't use foam plates. You can see it's kind of eating away at the foam. This is a plastic paint. So, almost got to the bottom there. We're gonna switch over to paper plates. So this is just the green and the light brown so far. And this is what it looks like. And here's the four star. I think it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna move on to doing this darker brown now. Okay, so this is what it looks like after the first time going over with the three colors. I think it looks pretty cool. There's a lot of black showing yet, so I think I'm going to go in with some green next. 
because those two browns are very similar. So we'll try to get a, the green to pop a little more. So this is where I'm gonna stop. I like the color. I wish I would've got maybe a little darker green spray paint to mix in there, but I think it looks pretty good overall. So Now we gotta do a clear coat on it so that that doesn't move off. So here's what they're looking like. I did put a second layer on just for a little bit better protection. Now it's time to put them on the gun. We'll see how it looks. So here it is, all put back together. Camo turned out pretty nice. Ready? Yeah. 